Hello everyone, I welcome you all to a new and beginner level hacking series. In this playlist, you are going to learn and practice your hacking skill with the help of Hack the Box. Then, what is Hack the Box? Hack the Box is an online platform allowing you to test your penetration testing skills and exchange ideas and methodologies with other members of similar interests. Before you start your skill you need to sign up first. If you have not yet signed up for Hack the Box then watch this video now. Click the i button to check it now. Before we start with our very first vulnerable machine, make sure you are connected with the target's network and know your way around a terminal. Okay, now, how to connect with Hack the Box target network? To connect with the HTB network click on connect to HTB in the upper left corner. Now from here choose your machine type. If you are at beginner level then choose starting point or if you are at intermediate level then you can choose machine. So I choose starting point. Now you might have been prompted to pick between a punbox connection or a VPN configuration file that you can download and run on your local machine. Running punbox is straightforward and you do not require any additional steps to connect to the target machine. If you boot up a new instance of Punbox under the starting point option, you will be automatically placed in the same network as the target. If you choose Punbox, then you have to choose your Punbox location and then click on Start Punbox. This process may take a few seconds, and then you will see an option named Open Desktop. Click on that to get the Parrot Security VNC session. Punbox is fully expensive, so you have to pay for this. So, I terminate the session and going to choose to download the VPN, .ovpn, configuration file. To manage the VPN service we have to download OpenVPN application. So, I download OpenVPN from their official site. As I here use it on my Windows operating system, so I click for Windows. Now, let's install it. As here you can see, the GUI interface of OpenVPN. Now upload the .ovpn file that you have downloaded. Now, click connect to get connected with HTB. Now our connection is established and ready to start our first mission that is me out. So now click on starting point. Now spawn the me out machine. Introduction When we first start a penetration test or any security evaluation on a target, a primary step is known as enumeration. This step consists of documenting the current state of the target to learn as much as possible about it. Since you are now on the same virtual private network, VPN, as the target, you can directly access it as any user would. If the target is a web server, running a public web page, you can navigate to its IP address to see what the page contains. If the target is a storage server, you can connect to it using the same IP address to explore the files and folders stored on it, provided that you have the necessary credentials. The question is, how do you find these services? You cannot manually search for them because it would take a long time. Every server uses ports in order to serve data to other clients. The first steps in the enumeration phase involve scanning these open ports to see the purpose of the target on the network and what potential vulnerabilities might appear from the services running on. 
In order to quickly scan for ports, we can use a tool called Nmap. If you learn more about Nmap watch this video now, otherwise you can follow my blog. Enumeration As our VPN connection is successfully established, so we can ping the target's IP address to see if our packets reach their destination or not. Here is the IP address of the Meow machine. Now press window key plus R and type ping followed by the IP address that is 10.129.157.37. After successful replies from the target, we can determine that our connection is formed and stable. From here, we can proceed with for next step that is scanning all of the target's open ports to determine which service is running on it. In order to start the scanning process, we are going to use the following command with the help of the Nmap script. Nmap stands for Network Mapper, and it will send requests to the target's ports in hopes of receiving a reply, thus determining if the said port is open or not. Some ports are used by default by certain services. Others might be non-standard, which is why we will be using the service detection flag hyphen small s and capital V to determine the name and description of the identified services. Following the completion of the scan, and we have identified that port 23 TCP is in an open state, running the Telnet service. If you don't know what Telnet is, then here is your answer. Telnet is an old service used for remote management of other hosts on the network. Since the target is running Telnet service, so it can receive Telnet connection requests from other hosts in the network, such as ourselves, by using this command. If you find the similar error on your screen, it means you have to install Telnet. To install Telnet on WSL, type apt-get install Telnet. Usually, connection requests through Telnet are configured with a username and password combinations for increased security. We can see this is the case for our target. As we are met with a hack the box banner and a request from the target to authenticate ourselves before being allowed to proceed with remote management of the target host. We will need to find some credentials that work to continue since there are no other ports open on the target that we could explore. Foothold. Sometimes, due to configuration mistakes, some important accounts can be left with blank passwords for the sake of accessibility. This is a significant issue with some network devices or hosts leaving them open to simple brute forcing attacks, where the attacker can try logging in sequentially, using a list of usernames with no password input. Some typical important accounts have self-explanatory names, such as admin, administrator, and root. Let's attempt logging in with these credentials in hopes that one of them exists and has a blank password. The first two are not so lucky for us. When things look down, it is essential to keep going, be persistent. We can't succeed unless we attempt all possibilities. Let us try the last one. Success! We have logged into the target system. We can now go ahead and take a look around the directory we landed in using the ls command. There is a possibility we might find what we are looking for. The flag.txt file is our target in this case. Most of half the box's targets will have one of these files, which will contain a hash value called a flag. The naming convention for these targeted files varies from lab to lab. For example, weekly and retired machines will have two flags, namely user.txt and root.txt. You can read the file to have the hash value displayed in the terminal using the cat command. Now, copy the flag, and paste it into the starting point labs page, which will grant you ownership of this machine, completing your very first task. Before pasting it to hear you to solve all the tasks one after another. Try them from your site if you don't find the proper answer then visit my blog to check the answer now.
If you have any doubts and have any queries comment to me below in my comment section.